Paragon Software Group is a leading provider of disaster recovery, virtualization, migration, deployment, and system optimization solutions since 1994. We help our customers reduce server downtime and improve their backup and DR strategy, leverage and manage virtual environments, and improve the performance of their storage systems, data centers, and applications by optimizing partition structures and alignment. Welcome to Paragon Software Group, where today we will be performing a walkthrough of repartitioning a hard disk drive with an extended partition present. We will begin today within the full-scale launcher of Paragon Partition Manager 11 server. Before we begin, it is recommended that you always create an image backup of your system before performing any type of repartitioning. Just as a note to those performing this operation, the repartitioning can only be used to reallocate space on the same drive. Also, if you are performing these actions within the WinPE recovery environment, there will be no need for any restarts. Now, we will begin with one of the most common repartitioning scenarios. If you will take note, there are two partitions on the drive, one of which is within an extended partition. Now, the common issue that arises for most users is that the C partition is running out of space and the E partition has plenty of space to spare. But when attempting to resize the E partition, you are not able to allocate the space to the C partition. This is due to the unallocated space residing within the extended partition. We will now go through a step-by-step -step process of how to resolve reallocating the space to the C partition. We will begin by going through the process of resizing the secondary, or E partition. To do this, we will right-click on the E partition, then click on Move Resize Partition. At this point, a pop-up window will appear that will only show the E partition. Now move the mouse over to the far left edge of the partition until two arrows appear pointing in opposite directions. Now click and drag the partition to the right and you will notice the partition is now beginning to shrink. Do this until you are satisfied with the amount of unallocated space as it is what will be added to the C partition, then click yes. From this point you will now see that the partition has been shrunk and there is unallocated space in between the C and the E partition. But it still resides within the extended partition. Also, if you will take note, of a green check mark and a red X that are no longer grayed out. Please click on the green check mark to perform the action. A progress screen will now appear and at this point one of two things will occur. Either you will be asked to restart to perform the operation or it will be carried out live while the server is running. Please make sure all programs are closed out and saved before restarting the system. For this example we will force the operation to restart. After clicking restart, you will notice that the operation is now being performed in what is called the blue screen mode. After the operation has been completed, please click any key to continue, restart the system, and reload into Paragon Partition Manager. Now that the operations have been completed, we will begin with the process of resizing the extended partition. To do this, we will click the up arrow key that is located directly under the disk view tab. Click until you see the partitions list tab, and please click on it. If you will note, the window will now populate with the partition list of all the disks on the drive. From there, we will navigate down to the extended partition and right click, then choose to move resize the partition. Again, a pop-up window will appear, but this time you will see the unallocated space as well as the E partition. Now move your mouse to the far left edge again, but this time make sure it's over the green highlighted area. When you get two arrows pointing in opposite directions, click and drag to the right until the extended partition is all the way to the beginning of the E drive, then click yes. Please note that the unallocated space is now outside the extended partition. Please click on the green check mark again. The progress bar will appear and again it may or may not ask you to restart. If it does, please make sure to have all programs saved and closed out. Then click restart to perform the operation. The task will now be performed within the blue screen mode. After the operation is complete within the blue screen mode, you will need to press any key to restart, where we will then reload into the Paragon Partition Manager, where if you will take note, the unallocated space is now outside the extended partition. Our final step will be to resize the C partition. To do this, we will right click on the C partition and click on Move Resize. Again the pop-up window will appear, this time showing the C partition and the unallocated space. Move your mouse to the far right side of the C partition until you get the two arrows pointing in opposite directions. 
Now we will click and drag the mouse to the far right until there is no unallocated space left. Then click yes. Now click on the green check mark to apply the operation. After the operation has been completed, please make sure there is no unallocated space left in between the C or the E partition. This completes our walkthrough of how to resize your C partition with an extended partition present. For additional information including sales, or if you would like to receive an evaluation copy of the software, please contact us at 888-347-5462 or email us at sales underscore USA at paragon-software.com. Thank you for viewing this Paragon Software Group presentation.